hello guys so today we are going to make pencil drawing effect for your video so uh, let me show you first what it is what i meant by that is what we are going to make today and let's get started first i want to mention that i'm going to uh, use premiere pro and after effects for this uh, don't worry even if you have only the after effects you can do this only using After Effects so I'm not gonna cover that part but it's it's uh, pretty simple you just have to upload the footage to the After Effects that's, that's the only different part from this we are just gonna upload uh, drone footage to my Premiere Pro so I'm gonna put it in my sequence I'm just gonna slice my footage uh, to probably around 5 seconds so I'm gonna delete that now right click on the footage and choose replace with after effects composition it will basically open up the after effects and import your footage to after effects yeah uh, before that we are going to make an after effects project yeah, I'm gonna just uh, type tutorial now our footage is imported to After Effects now what we are going to do is we are going to select the text and type some text on top of our footage I'm gonna resize my text a little bit bigger yeah. now I'm gonna select the pen tool keep in mind that before you draw anything, you select the text layer like this and draw on top of the each letter like this. You can make it precise as you want. I know, I know, it's going to be boring. So I'm going to just uh, fast forward this, maybe one minute in the future. So see you guys in the future. Ooh, guys I'm back so looking good now we are going to go to effect sorry effect and generate and select stroke effect okay now select the text layer and select the old mask select the brush size to 7 maybe you can adjust this always take that to first and select the little timer button at the end and set it to zero and grab it to the little timer head and set it to 100 but I miss it okay 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 my bad and this is what I am missing so you just select the reveal original image and that's pretty much it it doesn't look nice so maybe I think increase the brush size to 17.4 it's enough for me you can adjust this as you want yeah looking good yeah that's cool now go to the Premiere Pro yeah it will automatically effect in the Premiere Pro so you just have to render it okay now we got ourselves nice looking cinematic title and you just can save the After Effects file and close it and here we go uh, after adding some extra sound effect it will look like this